This is Louise for MMA Crazy and I'm here with Tom Decamois who faces Terry on Ware at UFC London. Now uh, what did you think about coming back to Europe to fight on this card? Very glad actually. It's, uh, it's been a while I haven't fight in Europe. Um, it's the occasion uh, for, for all my fans from, uh, from France or for, from, uh, from Europe or from, uh, from England to, to, to come to join the show uh, because usually it's in Kansas City, the US and uh, Las Vegas and now it's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be back here. And uh, you're facing Terry on Ware, who's had two fights in the UFC like you, but he's lost both of his fights. Yeah. What did you think when they put his name forward to you? He lost against two uh, high-level opponents. Uh, we actually lost against the same guy. Um, I've been watching a lot of, uh, of his videotape and a very high-level athlete, high-level uh, striker. and. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm glad it's going gonna, it's gonna to be against him and, um, and I respect him for accepting uh, accepted the challenge. And you're coming off a split decision loss in your last fight. What did you uh, kind of take away or learn from that and has that impacted anything going forward into this fight? So at the end of the fight you're, you're already, there is always a little moment where you're a little bit, uh, a little bit sad about it but uh, really fast uh, you, um, you, you, you talk with your coach and you still have the sensation from the, from the fight and you kind of create a, a new method, a new uh, way to train uh, or, um, in taking what uh, didn't work in that fight but still uh, doing uh, what works so, so, so far. So it's uh, like a subtle mix be between uh, those things. Yeah. And has anything, I mean, have you split your time between Paris and Jackson's this time around or has it been strictly uh, in France? So when uh, I get the offer from the UFC, I, uh, I was in Paris. So um, the, the event was in London and I was in, uh, that was like one month, one month and a half preparation. And I said, and, uh, that was just like this. I was like, okay, let's, let's just do the camp in Paris. It's, uh, it's going to be the occasion to, to, to do something else because in Paris we have a high level in a... Uh, in uh, striking, Muay Thai, Savari, uh, boxing, so it will be the, the occasion to focus on uh, other, other, other fields of the fight. And you're both high-level strikers, you've both never been uh, knocked out in your careers. How do you see this unfolding? Do you see it staying on the feet or, or do you see uh, anywhere else that it could uh, end up going? Yeah, as it's in MMA, we, we're going to be ready everywhere and ready to use all the tools we, we can do uh, but uh, yeah according to our style it's I think it's gonna be a, on, a, on a striking level but uh, I think we are both open for for doing everything and what are you going to be expecting to see from him on Saturday and how do you envision it going down? Well, I know it's going to be very ready. Uh, I will uh, be too and um, you can expect uh, a version 2.0 from me. And obviously London not being very far from uh, France, are you going to have a lot of French supporters there on Saturday? Yeah, hundreds of people actually will be, will be coming and it's a, it's a huge support but uh, also a huge support from, the, from uh, English people that have been uh, following me from the very beginning of uh, my career, very supportive. Uh, even when I was fighting against English opponents, they, they, they always show great respect, great support and uh, this, uh, this country has definitely the, the fighting, fighting spirit and the uh, in, uh, fighting blood. And how do you get the job done on Saturday? How do you see yourself getting the win? You can expect me at the 100% of my level and, uh, I'll, and I will put on a show and I do uh, everything I can.